Number 13, a particle moves so that its position in meters as a function of time in seconds is vector r. Let's write it down. Vector r, which is a function of time, is equal to i plus 4 t squared in the j direction. So this, this j is terrible. So let's write it again. So j direction plus t in the k direction. Write expressions for its velocity and its acceleration as a function of time. So we want to find vector v, which is a function of time. Uh, since we have the function of the position, we just have to derive r in respect of time. So we just have to derive this function over here, which is i plus for t squared in the j direction plus t in the k direction and this is over dt. So this derivative over there is equal to 8t in the j direction plus k 1k 1 in the k direction. So this is the function of the velocity as a function of time. So letter, this is letter A. Letter B, the acceleration. So in order to find the acceleration, we have to derive the position two times. We already did one time, we, and then we got the velocity over here. So if you want the acceleration, we just have to derive the velocity in respect of time. And this would be the derivative of 8t in the j direction plus k in respect of time and this is simply 8j meters per squared second. So this is the answer of letter B.